hello everyone welcome once again to investing with the difference so today we are going to talk about uh, how to get started with scatter how to <clears throat> make sure that you are safely interacting with your account so we have already covered changing your keys uh, so for example if you're a genesis account holder how to change how to make sure that you can create active and owner keys which are separate from each other how to make sure that you never have to enter your owner private keys onto uh, the network and you can always keep your owner private keys in cold storage so do watch this video if safely changing eos genesis account keys if you are still uh, not sure how to do that now once you have done that you, what you need to do is you need to go to getscatter.com slash download again the usual practice is always check the certificate you are on the right side make sure there are no cookies which are going to trouble you uh, in terms of tracking your activity on the internet so cookies can always be dangerous so always check that chrome browser is great for that and uh, i always use that now i'm using mac os so i downloaded mac os uh, scatter so one thing to take into account is the uh, scatter is not recognized by macbook as a valid publisher so what happens is you need to go to your settings and you need to go to your security and privacy and uh, when you download and install yeah, right now i've already pressed it but you will see something here that uh, you have to you have to allow scatter to be opened once you open it it will show you the screen that you are new and you need to create a new password so just like we did for Graymas, you need to have a wallet password which is a local password and uh, this will make sure that you only enter your active keys once so as we reminded you you have to set up your wallets using active keys and we already showed you in the previous video on how to do that on Graymas after changing the keys now we are going to do the same thing in addition scatter provides you with a way to actually recover your scatter wallet and you can actually they give you a passphrase so these are in a particular order so this these words these are english words so even in, if you lose your uh, password or your keys uh, i mean when you lose uh, you're not able to create uh, log into your computer it crashes or something you can recover your scatter using this key phrase so you can copy them you can save them just like your private keys keep them safe but remember you're only risking your active keys and as we talked in the previous video even if your active keys are compromised your owner keys are going to be secure and you can change your active keys anytime you want but anyway let's assume we have copied this and now you accept the terms and uh, you can also back up if you want but uh, so you can choose a folder to back up your uh, scatter and so on so let's go and see if i can skip that but yeah, it looks like i need to choose it so let's say if i choose uh, uh, my download folder i do this now you need to enter your keys now what you do is you go to create a new key this is only if you are creating a new account or you're creating a new key pair uh, what you we are trying to do is we are using an account which we already changed the keys with gray mass so we go to import key you can either use a hardware wallet now we are not covering it here i personally don't use hardware wallet i'm pretty happy with eos uh, cold storage based owner keys the owner keys can be stored in hard wall, hardware wallet also uh, that is beyond the scope of this video so let's focus on if you have your owner keys in a paper format or in a text format somewhere you go to that you enter your private keys so let me go and use the smart investor account again and i enter it here and i say import now as soon as you import it it will automatically show you the linked accounts so it shows me smart investor and what you can do is there is a, some random name here and what i would say is uh, why not we go and uh, name it like my smart investor account so this is something which will be visible to you every time you have to sign a transaction on the web so make sure you name it properly so i can say active if you are entering with active keys just to remind yourself that it is an active key so this is a good good way of doing it and you can now go back 
and you are you have an account linked and you are ready to use the scatter shows you the liquid balance it allows you to send or exchange i don't use scatter for this uh, these kind of transactions what you can do is now you can go to any gambling sites or any sort of uh, any scatter based site so let, let's not go to gambling let's talk about voting let's say for example you want to um, go and vote on referendums uh, so now let's go to eos authority polls and you can go ahead and actually vote on a rex proposal for example and it's very easy once you have scatter desktop set up you all most of these sites most of the dapps they have this is referendum dapp which is eos authority has created you just say link scatter to vote and the scatter it will automatically pop in and if it is already on so sometimes it will not come up because maybe you close the scatter window so just make sure your scatter is uh, application is up and running and it will automatically come here you say login and now i can i have the uh, i can actually go and vote and i can do any other so if you go to any other website any browser uh, we can go to uh, we can go to dice apps may, maybe uh, let's say i'm using a dice.im this was one of the uh, apps which uh, people were using the best app best dice or let's go to uh, then again it will pop up it will say login of course i'm not going to log in right now you can go to eos bet and uh, again any gambling sites any po any site any dapp on eos will allow you and your scatter will pop up so as soon as you say login and you will see uh, login with scatter and you will see this uh, login option so as soon as you log in you can make transactions uh, you can play dice you can do we just did okay let's go back to the polling i just wanted to show you all the dapps work the same way and now you can just say yes now because this account is proxied to investing with a difference it says your proxy has already voted yes and your vote will take precedence over the proxy vote so it doesn't matter because we are going to vote the same and i'm going to say yes and i now the scatter pops up now this is important because it tells you exactly what you're signing so some dapps so while you have logged into scatter you still need to make sure every time you make a transaction it is the right transaction so scatter interface is most important don't look at what the dapp is telling you because they can write here send me one eos but actually they are sending 100 eos and in this case you are not sending any eos you are actually just voting so make sure all these are very well understood that you are voting on proposal rex for all you are voting one your vote your account is a smart investor and you allow it so allowing a particular transaction is very important and similarly when you go to a dice let's say you want to bet up 0.1 eos you say roll you roll dice now this is what is i wanted to show you so now even though you selected 0.1 there you need to reconfirm that it is 0.1 now one more thing is if you already trust eos bet you say oh eos bet is a very very good site i i trust the team they are not going to fool me whatever they are writing on the site is going to be the same you can say enable whitelist what that means is you are allowing without giving the details as soon as you press any key on that website your wallet is automatically authenticated you just say enable and now you can choose what part you can enable so you are enabling that any there are different parameters so when you're playing dice you choose whether you want to put your bar around 50 or you want to do it uh, at 100 or 96 or whatever so what i'm saying is uh, uh, what you are actually enabling with this is you can enable individually so for in this example i'm saying it's okay if i do 0.1 um, every time but i don't want it to be whitelisted when i do 0.2 or 1 eos or more so i trust this website but i don't trust it enough that i allow any amount so don't click on this you only click on other parameters now you can keep betting 0.1 eos any number of times but if you bet any other amount it will again pop up this message so let's say i say allow now the transaction will go through and we are actually we have rolled the dice uh, 
So it looks like the transaction is expired. So that's good for me because I did not want to bet. If I had pressed it quick enough while I was explaining, it would have automatically gone through. So this is very easy how you use scatter. Just be careful with uh, what you sign. But I already set you on uh, getting this uh, how to download and how to set it up. So thanks once again. And uh, we will be back with more details. I hope it is very useful. And uh, do use your scatter. Do set up uh, uh, the web application. This is one of the most important thing uh, if you want to interact with your chain. And uh, do watch the video for changing your keys safely uh, before you go and uh, use scatter because we recommend that uh, scatter is using with only with active keys which are different from owner keys. Thank you. Please share this video for two others who are still new to EOS who are learning how to use um, EOS and not just speculate on it, go use it, set up scatter, set up other wallets and start using EOS chain and you will really love it. Thank you. Bye-bye.